Jeff, God has a clear vision of sexuality in the Bible. Talk a little bit about that vision. Well, God lays out his design for human sexuality in the very beginning at the creation. And we read about that in Genesis, where it talks about God creating the heavens and the earth and everything in them. God made the man, Adam, and then he puts him to sleep and fashions a partner from Adam's side, the woman Eve. She's similar to Adam, but she's distinct and complementary. She's different from him. And that's where desire comes from. What was once united has been pulled apart. And then there's this desire to reconnect again. And so that's the root of our, our desire to connect with other people and to have healthy relationships. Now, some people say the Bible doesn't address homosexual behavior or rather that it condones it, which is correct. Well, it's really clear that whenever the Bible talks about homosexuality, it does so in a negative way. It says that it's not good and it's not right. And every time the Bible talks about sexuality in a positive way, it's talking about marriage between a man and a woman. Jesus and Moses and Paul all confirm that that's God's design for us. So a one man, one woman marriage. And this truth has been part of Jewish teaching and the church's teaching for thousands of years now.